We're out at Cabo de Palos, having a little sit down by the seaside oh, yes. on these lovely rocks. Look at the, the lovely rocks going out to sea. It's a, it's a port here, a little Ooh. fishing port. Ooh. And uh, back over that way, um, there's a lot of little fish restaurants, isn't there? Yep. And they're busy, busy. They today. are busy. Yeah, very busy. And it's and, a big uh, day. Yeah. Well, we met somebody. Yeah. Today is the day we take the car back. I've already dropped it off and there's not been any uh, problems with extra damage and, and that sort of stuff. So I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, so it, it's, um, it was a bit of a shock. I checked. I, I haven't been able to uh, arrange a lift back from the airport. Usually what happens is that when somebody's either collecting a car or dropping off, somebody else will be collecting or dropping off so that they can like, give each other a, a lift to and from the airport, which is it's about a 35, 40 minute drive from the camping. And um, I've not been able to do that today. So no one else was coming over to either collect or drop off a car. So it was like, you know, I was dropping mine off. I was hoping somebody else would be collecting and be able to take me back. So I checked on the uh, there's taxis all lined up, like any other normal airport. They're all lined up out there. So um, I'd seen online um, on a sort of Covera website, Covera Airport um, website, that a taxi from here back to Camping La Manga was a um, they'd done a deal fixed price of 20 euros and I thought well that's that's pretty good or there's a bus back to La Manga for 10 euros and I thought oh, okay well for an extra tenner I'll go for the taxi so um, my usual thing is have a chat with the driver check the price before I get in the cab <laughs> and make sure that it is the price that I've seen online so I checked with uh, the driver, and uh, he didn't didn't speak English, which I th thought was a bit a bit strange for an international airport where you get a lot of British uh, people coming over. I thought it was a bit strange, he, like no English at all. And he wrote down um, the price <laughs> the price from here to La Manga uh, it was 65 euros, plus or minus well. Might be 20 euros extra, depending. Um, so it was like, that might be nearly, a, well, 85 euros. So I was, I said, well, no, I'll, I'll check and I'll come back. So I, I came into, um, came into the arrivals lounge, which is where I am now. I call it a lounge, it's the right arrivals terminal. And uh, I checked with the, uh, information people down the other end. There's, an in, there's a tourist information here, it's not open yet. I checked with the information people down the other end and uh, they said, well, there's a bus. You go out of here, turn right. It's right down the other end by the sort of car parking. And uh, that leaves here at 10.30. So I dropped the car back off at nine, so I've got um, it's another hour to wait um, before I can go and get, well, before the bus leaves. So I've got to wait here in the warm because I didn't bring, a, I didn't bring any coats or anything with me. I drove in the car and um, all I've got with me is my wallet and my phone. So, hmm. so, <laughs> so I don't want to stand outside because it's, you know, although it's a quite a nice day, not so cold today, but it is a little bit, a little bit on the coldy side. But, um, you know, it, it's, um, you know, it's going to cost 10 euros to get back to La Manga. And then from, I don't know how I'm going to get back to the camping. I might have to walk from La Manga back unless I can find some other way. I don't know, I don't know, whether, I don't know about the buses in Spain. So um, that's going to be a challenge, isn't it? But there we are. Um, I'll let you know how I get on and uh, how the bus journey goes <laughs> as we uh, as we get on. 
this is the this is the view from the arrivals um, terminal. The departures is upstairs, and uh, it's quite it's, it's really it's all very new because I think the the airport's only been open for about a year, so it's all very new, and uh, yeah, they've got nice uh, toilets available. Uh, right near the entrance so if you're coming in or going out uh, if you're coming in to collect somebody you can park outside you can if you're doing a pickup uh, there's there's little bits of parking outside it says five minutes um, waiting time only so if you know what time the uh, plane's coming in you can just pop there and uh, although there is uh, longer term parking which um, I think it's paid for, I don't know how much that is, because the, um, it's in where the hire cars are all go, and I, you know, the registration numbers on the hire cars are all fixed into the barrier, um, sensing, so, uh, yeah, so I don't know how much that's gonna, that would cost to park, but there's, uh, yeah, there's a Gatwick flight due in at, uh, 10 a.m. 10 minutes early you get free wi-fi here as well um and you just put your put your email address in you know, up there you get that sign says free wi-fi so you can get free wi-fi you can get cash out of the uh out of a cash machine here um which is over over that way there and um there's a cafe and a little shop I think, I, I couldn't believe it. I was just going to go in and buy a bottle of water and <laughs> the like half, half a litre bottle of, bottle of um, sort of fruit drinks, which would be maybe one euro, two euros maybe as a maximum. They're 3.20 here in the airport. Three euros, 20 cents. What a, I mean, airports, what a rip off. It's just because, you know, you've, you've almost got that captive audience, haven't you? They can't get anything anywhere else and they want something. So it's like, mm. or you could buy two for five euros. It just, it really is taking, taking the mickey out of, out of tourists and travellers. So we don't like that. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. So let's get on with the little bus journey. The bus has arrived. It is uh, this one here. The, the, I'm the only person waiting. Um, and the driver came, got off the bus. That's, that's them walking down that way, just there. And uh, he came and spoke to me. He said, where do you want to go? And I thought, oh, well, that's quite a good service. I thought he might drop me right off at uh, Camping La Manga. But he said, no, I can only get you as far as uh, Cabo de Palos, which is where we were the other day, and that's um, that's an easy walk back. That's uh, that's quite a good thing, I think. Um, it'll do me good to, to have the walk and uh, an easy ride. It's te ten euros to buy the ticket from the driver, and uh, we'll be all good. Um, but as I say, that's the that's the huge bus. I might be the only person on it, although there is a there is a flight coming in uh, which uh, there might be a few more people leaving at 10.30 it's about 10 o'clock now so uh, sorry about the wind it's, the wind's got up I'm, I've gone outside because it actually warmed up a bit but now I'm feeling a bit cold but there you are <laughs> Back. Been ages, isn't it? <laughs> I set off yeah. at um, quarter past eight this morning. Yeah. It's now uh, half past twelve. Yeah. So four hours to get a car from here back to the airport and then get the bus. It's a fifty-minute drive in the bus, mm. which goes via Cartagena and then back out to Cabo de Palos. Uh, it's not right in Cabo de Palos. It's just by the um, super spa thing 
the supermarket. But then, walking back from there, and I did make a little mistake and took a wrong direction when I got to the campsite. It's taken me an hour to walk back from Cabo to here. And um, still, uh, the good news is I've got my 10,000 steps in today, haven't I, Went. You have indeed. So that's yeah. very good news, yeah. yeah. And it was nice weather, so... Yeah, nice, nice weather. Very Didn't, warm. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm quite hot now. Yeah. And... Uh, oh. Thing is, I didn't take a drink with me, mm. so I had a cup of tea this morning yeah. before I went out, and then I haven't drank anything no. since. So I've just downed a can of orange juice, <laughs> the orange sparkly thing, mm. and I'm uh, probably this thing, red Z, or whatever. <laughs> um, I'm gonna down that now, yeah, energy for life, yeah. Mm. <laughs> And, and yeah. Probably energy for life-threatening illnesses. <laughs> I don't know what it, I don't know what's in it, but there you are. Probably some of that taurine stuff that uh, goes into Red Bull. I think that's what it is. It's. I think it's just the equivalent of it. I think I got it from Aldi, Ooh. didn't I? Look, there's niacin, mm. vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and. Uh, Acido pantotenico. Mm. Oh, what that is. I have to look that up. That's in Spanish. Mm. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know what else is in it. But I quite like them. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but that's it. That's the story of uh, taking a car back. Mm. <sighs> I wish somebody else had been going out to pick a car up because it would have been... You know, a 40 minute drive out, 40 minute drive yeah. back, and maybe half an hour waiting while somebody else got the car. Yeah. That would have been good. But it didn't happen. No. Anyway, no. there we are. There we are, such is life. Mm. Oh, the bus was 10 euros. Was it really? Mm. Mm. Five euros from the airport to Cartagena. Mm. Um, one person was on the bus doing that, he went to Cartagena. Mm. And I was on the bus to Cabo. No it's only one two got of us. On. Gosh, I no, no one got on. And I, I think they turn around at Cabo mm. and go back. <laughs> what a waste. Mm. What a Still, waste. Still, I'm glad it was there. It'd been cheaper for them to put you in a taxi, wouldn't it? No, because the taxi might have been like six, well, 65 euros plus, 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 mm. whatever, whatever they decided to add on. Well, I know, I was if just was thinking traffic. about the diesel and the man's wages, the bus driver's wages and the wear and oh, tear. Yeah, the it bus would, company would it have been cost, cheaper to put... Definitely yeah. costed them more mm. than €15 Euros mm. to get that little bus from there out to there. Mm. Comfy seats, though. Aircraft-style seats. Was it? Mm. Air conditioning? <sighs> I don't know. No. It wasn't hot in there. No. It was all right. Yeah, good. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> From a weary, weary, weary yes. Steve, <laughs> it's goodbye. And and from me too. I've yeah. been washing all morning, so mm. that's what I've been doing. Oh, we live the high life, don't we? There's oh, the washing right. over there. There it is. Yep. So we're just having. A, I'm having a cup of coffee, and you're having your cold drink. So. Right. So yes, we are living the high life. Yep. Um, here in sunny. Downtown La Manga. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Bye bye for now. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.